hello everyone and welcome to another video so today in this video we're taking a look at these micro usb panel connector so this is how they came in and they were wrapped in this uh, packaging i just opened them just to see make sure they were there and everything was all right so as you can see this is how they came in and i ordered about uh, 50 pieces in total all of them i believe so let's get rid of the packaging and this is how they look as you can see one leg is the smaller and one leg is bigger and usually in electronics the bigger leg is positive and the smaller leg is negative but as you will see in this case some of them are equal sizes so make sure whenever you are using these you're measuring the polarity properly before using them so these are for micro usb and the reason i bought this is because i've got a lot of micro usb cables which are not being in use anymore because most phones today don't come with a micro usb connector and all of them uh, have been replaced with the usb-c connectors so a lot of us has micro usb cables that are just laying around and we can't do much with those cables so with this what we can do is we can run our 5 volt devices by using our micro usb cables so there is that so in total i found uh, 50 connectors but out of these connectors i think uh, two were damaged and i paid about uh, 2.99 for these connectors so 299 and plus i also paid the shipping fee which was uh, 59 rupees so in total i paid 358 for 50 connectors if you divide that by uh, 50 you will see that a single connector cost me about 7 rupees and 16 paise and out of these uh, two were damaged so there is that anyways overall the quality of the connectors is really nice as you can see they fit really nice and let me just show you how they uh, connect to a cable so i've got this uh, micro usb cable here and if i connect this micro usb cable here you can see that they fit really nice and now what i can do now is i can use a power bank or any charger and get 5 volt from this usb and then i will get 5 volt on these two terminals and then i can run anything like a 5 volt fan a 5 volt uh, light or i can also use this for my any 5 volt electronic projects so there is that so these are simple uh, panel connectors basically you can mount them on any panel or any surface and that's why these are called panel connectors they are molded with plastic so le let me show you why i bought these for uh, so i do a lot of uh, projects with 5 volts i've got my modem and router cooling uh, with a usb fan so i can install them these one of these on my cooling fan and i can run these with a 5 volt micro usb cable the other thing is that i've got these uh, uh, emergency light and as you can see this takes a old style uh, pin a nokia style charger pin as you can see like this one now these types of pin and charger are not very easy to find however if i replace this i'm not going to replace this i'm going to add this connector here if i add this connector here panel connector micro usb i can run this light with a a uh, micro usb cable as well which i've got a lot of in a lot of those cables in my house and if i use a power pen i can also use this run this light on a power bank so there is that so let me just install this uh, uh, this panel connector on one of this light and then we'll see how it works let us test uh, these connectors as well so i've got an uh, extension here so let me just plug in my uh, charger so I will plug this charger in. This is my Redmi Note 7 5V 2A charger. Let me get a cable here. So this is a micro USB cable. So let's plug this cable inside here. And let's uh, use one of these connectors. Let's start with this one. As you can see there are two pins. Let me connect this in. It's now connected. And now we should be able to get 5 volts here. So let us grab a multimeter. So I've got my multimeter here. Let's put this to on 20 volt setting. It's on 20 volt setting now. Let's put this here so that we can see. Let me turn the light on. And as you can see, there are two pins and the bigger pin should give us plus 5 volt and the other one must be ground. So if I connect this together, you can see that we are getting 5 volts. And now if I solder two wires on these connectors i can run a lot of things anything that takes 5 volt i can run without any problem so as you can see uh, this light i usually need to use a nokia small pin charger but if i use a usb cable uh, a micro usb cable i can't connect this directly because there is no micro usb port 
So let us add this port and make this light run off of a micro USB cable as well and make use of the a lot of micro USB cable that are just laying around inside our house. So what I'm thinking is now I'm thinking of installing the micro USB panel connector here and these are called panel connector because you can install them uh, on a panel or on a surface because they are molded like a panel. So I'm thinking of adding this connector here in this part. So let us open this and make a hole. That's one screw out. Let me get rid of all the screw. So this is the last screw. So all the screws are out and there's not much in the light and as you can see there is the potentiometer which helps to control the brightness of the light which we can see here. This is also on off button. Uh, there is a small LED and here is the another panel connector for the small pin that you can see here. So this is also a panel connector and we are installing another panel connector but this one is micro USB instead of just a small pin connector. So I will be adding this right next to the pin. So let me just make a hole here. All right, so first I drill a smaller hole with a smaller drill bit. So let's start from here. All right, the smaller hole is done. Let's make it bigger with a bigger drill bit. Let's make the hole bigger from the opposite side now. And that's our hole done. Let's see whether our connector fits or not. Alright guys, so apparently the hole wasn't big enough. So I had to use a scissor and ream this up a little bit to make the hole big enough. And now the connector fits really nice. And let's just take this burr off of the uh, light. So it looks a little clean. And I think it looks really nice now. So let's get on with our project. So let's see whether the micro USB panel connector goes in or not. Making sure it, it is upright. Push this in. And now it is completely pressed in and it looks like it was meant to be here. So really nice. And from the back you can see our two pins are coming here and which I will shoulder to the small pin connector that you see here. So let's figure out which one is the positive and which one is the negative. To figure out that, let us plug in a charger. Then we'll measure which point is the plus and which point is the minus. So here is the small pin connector. Let's plug this in. Let's see LED is glowing. The light is also working. Let's turn this off. Now one indicator already here is that as you can see the diode. The diode usually connects to the positive. So I'm pretty sure that the one a terminal uh, to which the diode is connected is going to be the plus so, but just to make sure let's bring in our probe let's connect this here and connect the other probe to the other terminal of the small pin connector you can see we are getting 7.3 7.4 volt and which is normal for a nokia small pin connector so there is that so indeed uh, the the terminal that is connected to the diode is the positive one so all i have to do is figure out which connector of my panel connector is positive i will connect the positive of my uh, uh, of my panel micro usb connector to the positive of the small pin connector and the negative to the negative of the small pin connector so let me figure out which one of the panel connector is the uh, positive so now to do that we'll have to connect a micro usb cable so let me bring in a micro usb cable so here is a micro usb cable let me connect this in it connects looks really nice as you can see this is how we will be able to connect a micro usb cable to our light anyways let us figure out which terminal is the positive so you can see there are uh, two terminals one and two on the panel connector let's bring in our probe start from the left one and as you can see i've got the plus here so the left terminal of my panel connector is the plus so this one is, this one is the plus and this one is the minus so let me connect a wire uh, to plus to plus and minus to minus and that should complete our project all right so let us put some solder on i've got my soldering iron heated up so the one positive will touch here this is the positive one and the negative one as you can see this is here so let's put this in that's done let's do the negative as well all 
so let us uh, shoulder them together and as you can see this one this part is the positive one this should attach here and this is the negative one they should attach here so let's i've already added a little bit of shoulder so let me just use a tweezer to press them in i think that's done let's do the negative as well hold this press it in and that's done it will make sure it is not moving and it is not moving so now let us before we finish the project let us put a micro usb cable in as you can see there is no battery in completely empty let's plug in our cable led is glowing that means it is working let's turn this on and the brightness is also increasing so there is there we go i think it is working properly let me add a little bit of super glue here so that our connector doesn't move so adding a little bit of glue here now that we know our connector is working and let's make this permanent let it dry for a bit and our project is done all right so let us close this up let's add the top screw Let's add the bottom screw. And let me add these two screws as well. All right guys, so I've completely closed this up. Let us test this project now. So here is the panel connector. This is our micro USB cable. Connected, working, off. So even the everything is working fine and now the advantage of this uh, upgrade is that now I can use any power bank. So if I connect a micro USB cable in a power bank and if I connect this unit here you can see now I've got a power bank solution which I can carry anywhere and I can work even when I don't have uh, electricity. So a very versatile project and uh, the use, these are decent quality uh, panel connectors but these are only for power supply they will not work for data okay so let me uh, store this connector in this container got this container I will be using this container to store all the connector So our connectors are now stored and that's our uh, project complete the light is working fine i'm running this off of a power bank and this power bank will run this light for a very very long time so decent connector uh, easy to use the only uh, uh, give you is two terminals one for the plus five volt and the other for the ground and there is not much going on here easy to fit easy to install decent strong connector you can transform all your 5 volt project and run them off of a micro usb cable like this one because most phone today is come with a usb c cable uh, usb c port so a lot of our micro usb cable are just laying around inside our house uh, without much use so you can make use of those micro usb cables and run such products projects like this one and you can run any 5 volt electronic device using a micro usb cable with this one it, on, it only comes with two terminals uh, plus 5 and the ground doesn't come with data pins so that also makes it a little simpler to work with anyways this was my video on this simple connector decent connector i hope you found this video helpful thanks for watching and i will see you guys in my next video bye bye